can't eat this, but how exciting is it to smell it? It's just my preference. <sighs> the most controversial way I teach my kids they all choose their own gender identity. And I think the more diverse uh, education we can offer, the more chance we have to... We'll convert your children, yes we will. Reaching one and all, there is really no escaping it. But if we can give them a first resort at school... Establishing a relationship with kids. I think I can see your beard, I see... You can see my beard? Oh no! <laughs> We're not looking for tolerance, that's not enough. Of course you're not looking for tolerance. You just want more. You just want s'mores every day. It's part of your gender. That's why I don't listen to you anymore. Because you always want more. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm not a free buffet for your feelings, you dumbo. It was really important to me that I was accepted by my students. Why do you look for acknowledgement from kids? You live in a real world with adults. Get it from adults. I don't think you cannot get it from adults. It's just that they want them to accept everything in your body. Hey, everybody's gonna find something that they don't like about me. You dumbo! Should it begin? So as an intentionally K-12 organization, Glisten understands that these conversations need to begin in elementary school. Yes, that lunchtime is kind of that sweet spot where the kids don't need to come earlier or stay late and kind of eliminates a little bit of that parent interaction. Four-year-old comes in and says, well, I've just been told there's two moms. There's my second mommy. How do you explain that one? Other benefits of teaching students about LGBTQ related issues. Public schools are asking students to engage in role play scenarios as gay or trans students. Oh, that's kind of perfect. That's how you do it, right? Okay. Then can you imagine if you're a hetero and you're with another hetero? <laughs> I mean, it was working fine for a lot of people. But of course, when you're alone and you're lonely, you feel different. I know, I know. Sex ed were more comprehensive, then it would shape a lot of the policies that we had. Yeah, with that lack of regulation and with that um, ambiguity, we have school boards making up their own curriculums. The kindergartners came home very confused about whether or not you can pick your gender, whether or not they really were a boy or a girl. I've seen these images way before a lot of people. They're not new. These are old. But the point that I'm trying to make is that these people believe they can educate a kid in a very nice way, which I can understand, saying that they will not get confused. It's okay, bada bim, bam, boom. But I'm like, wait, they believe in Santa Claus. If I can convince my kid to believe in Santa Claus, I can convince them they're a boy or a girl, right? Very simple. So the fact that we give adult the ability to project a lens, a triggering lens, so they can survive and feel comfortable with themselves because they might snip snip themselves. Why are these people in powerful position educating kids when the kids are not even going to be happy just like them? I mean, they are in a position they don't enjoy. Why would you teach a kid to be in a position that you don't enjoy? You guys are supposed to be together, right? But at the same time, your own community turns on each other when you don't follow the same way of thinking, right? It doesn't make any sense. It proves my point that when you can't create a stable ground to adopt a kid because it's already normal to be a non-binary, you don't even have to say it. Just go adopt the kid. Two people, same relationship for more than 10 years. How many LGBTQ people do you know are still together after 10 years? I don't see them a lot. That's my problem. So if you can't do that, don't go touch kids when you can be a cool uncle and change the whole way they have to think. Are you freaking kidding me? You are messing up with these kids' heads and they will grow and some of them will just change. Be like, hey man, I think that was a little mumbo jumbo when I was a kid, but I want to be different the way I kind of feel. You would feel so offended, you might even attack or call them homophobic because you have internal homophobia. What do you mean? It doesn't make sense when you remove these kids from school to a normal village and then the village is like, hey man, they kind of chill and normal. Everybody eat, chill together, use the natural resource to find happiness. You can find happiness even naturally. You chip chip, put things, change your genes and everything. But then, uh oh, I need to have a baby. Chip chip, we're not gonna take it anymore. Oh, how do I breathe breath milk? I don't know. Oh, they will not grow, oh, and all this hair? Oh, my voice, I can't sing. I'm joking, right? I know it hurts your feeling, but I've been warning you 24 seven, but nobody listens. I'm giving this dude one last chance to get the point. This 
We don't like this. My community specifically does not like this. Look at that freaking faith. That is a face that I don't want to be close at that. It's like, if you want to educate me to bring me to your team, do you really think I want to be thinking that this is the face that I'm going to meet? Teachers have no business teaching kids about the sexual orientation and the gender identity at this age. That's the parent's problem. Yes, it's the parent's problem. If you had a unique parent, hey, I guess you're unlucky. It's still your life. You can build it by yourself. I did it, a lot of people do it, but you want to play the victim card. Hey man, I don't care. You want to know why personally I don't like this? No. Because when it's the parent's problem, that's how you get homophobic kids. That's no. That's how you get kids like me with internalized homophobia until they're like 18 or 19 because they finally started going to fucking therapy. If my parents... You need a therapy to realize that you were homophobic? Really? I think it's a you problem. I don't think you need any therapy for that. It's just, you were not self-aware of what's happening in your surrounding. Maybe somebody labeled you, Blagam, 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 white, 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 racist, racist, racist. Look at your freaking face. You feel more traumatized by the people that told you what you have to believe, and you have to project it to other people because you're like, I don't want to be white, 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 I'm a racist, because it scares the poo. I feel bad for your daughter. Oh, I said something wrong. <laughs> My parents had their way. I wouldn't know shit about the gay community. And maybe that would even be better for you because the fact that you know it, you're so frustrated. And then again, looking at you, I'm like, maybe your parents didn't even do a good job because they still had the chance to educate you with their white, 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 racist, racist, racist. Or my own legitimate sexual identity. I came out to them when I was 16. You want to know what they told me? They told me I was going to unalive myself because of this. That might be a possibility. Because the fact that you decided to identify in a certain way, most people that go into that project are trained to find stuff everywhere. As they keep saying, we need to get more, 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 more. Now, I don't think you don't need to get more, but if you get more, 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 and you don't know how to stop, it's just like Mike Tyson was trained to be a gangster. And when the trainer died, he couldn't turn it off. And he had a problem to turn it off. Go talk to all the fighters. I'm a very nice person until they go into a ring. Something happens in their head. But the problem is with the LGBTQ, they never told you how to turn it off because it's money, money, money. Keep fighting for us. I was an already depressed teenager. Oh. When you say it's the parents' problem, understand that the parents are not gonna make the best decision. No, because if the parents were doing something for you and you were not depressed, maybe all this gender thing wasn't even interesting to you. But when you're already depressed and the parents suck at their job, yes, you can go find your gender and feel included with the other people and that might be also depressed. That's not my responsibility. But if I'm there for my kid and my kid likes the color purple and you're going to be like, oh, oh, he likes purple. I know I told him gender has no color, but I think he's ho. No, not homophobic. He's gay. They're not going to educate their kids. If it weren't for public school, I wouldn't know shit about the gay community. Unless it's a private school, parents need to stay the fuck out of classrooms. Wait, 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 wait. You got internet. You got TikTok. They're already educating everybody. The fact that you watch this and it didn't educate yourself, it surprises me. Hey, Amen. Miss me. But if you're still here... Hey man, just subscribe. Sometimes I'm political, sometimes I'm different. Sometimes I'm funny, sometimes I'm meme. All I am is a father that's looking a good time to educate myself and see who agrees with me or not. That's it. Peace. Don't get me wrong, my boss at it a bong. Put the fire na me blonde, push hash purple skunk, creo yo colombici jam jam, dur lo que ta verde ta welcome. De mi de mi a tu meniciativa, pa trae cu indica, y tambe que sun sativa, te hinda no que acepta cu eta medicina, Bob D, Nang D, eta causa rebeldia, cu quen.